Facebook conversion pixel. What does that even mean? Guys, here today, just here in my garage, um, these are not all my cars. I wish I could say that. I'm just underground, underneath my apartment. Now, the Facebook conversion pixel. People hear the word pixel and they freak out. They're like, oh, what, is, what does that even mean? All right, I want a pixel. <laughs> now, all that it is, is when we're looking at it from a conversion perspective, is we're tracking our traffic. We're finding out exactly where it is, where it's going to, and where we want it to end up. Right? It's like if you imagine a line at the front of a nightclub, if you were just lining up there and you were just going and you just started walking through a magical line and you started going all over the place and you didn't know where you end up, it's not gonna be a very good time, right? So the conversion pixel was basically your nightclub entry going, I want people to go from outside, right? That's my cold traffic. I want people to go from outside. I want them to go inside the nightclub. That's where I want them to finish up. And that's what Facebook conversion pixels are used for. That's why we have them. You know, that's why we uh, want to utilize them. And not only can you do it at the first point, you can track then when they get into the nightclub, when they get to the bar, right? When they go to the bathroom, we can track all these different points. And it allows us to really understand and know exactly what's going on with our traffic. Now, can you just use Facebook custom events? Can you just use all that sort of stuff? Yes, however, it's my personal preference because it's the most trackable, it's the most measurable, and it allows you to get the best result possible when it comes to the full trackability of your Facebook ads, all right? So that's why we want to use Facebook custom conversions. Right, and I know it sounds a little bit weird, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys into the office. We're going to go jump on the Mac and we'll figure out and I'll show you guys exactly how we grab that and how we create that so that you guys can use it for your ads as well. So let's head into the office. Hey guys, so you saw me in my garage, now we're back. I had to stop and get a cheeky little coffee on the way in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in and we're gonna show you, we're gonna do a screen share of exactly how you can use a conversion pixel to grow your Facebook ads. I just wanna reiterate that it's so, so important. And I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step breakdown because what we need to do is three things. Number one, we need to get our code. Number two, we need to install it. And number three, we need to set up our Facebook pixel in our Facebook custom conversion in the back end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump in and I'm going to show you step by step how we do that so you can get epic results. As now we're inside the computer, I've got my blue light blockers on, we're ready to rock and roll. So what we want to do is come into here into our events manager under our pixel. We need to get our pixel so we can install it. So facebook.com forward slash events underscore manager forward slash pixel to get and copy that. So what we wanna do is click setup and all we're gonna do is manually install and copy this so that we can install it ourselves. Now, as we can see, we've got it, we hit done. Don't worry about anything else because this is not important right now, not for custom conversions. Now, what we wanna do is keep track and remember that this little end part is 8043. So we're gonna track that when we get to our funnel pages. So you can do this in WordPress, in ClickFunnels, in lead pages, whatever you want. All you wanna make sure that happens is we install it in our head code and I'll show you that. And we also wanna make sure we have Facebook Pixel Helper installed so that we can track and see we've got the right pixel on the right page. So we'll jump into our funnel now and we'll see how we can ensure that we've got the right pixel for the right page. Okay, now we're in ClickFunnels, we're under our head tracking code. And all we're gonna do is paste that code in that we copied before. We're just going to paste that in there, scroll down and hit save. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, identify which page we wanna tell Facebook that our traffic is going to finish on. So we're gonna jump in, we'll hit save, and then we're going to go to that page. So this is the page that we wanna tell Facebook to send people to. This is our thank you page after they've downloaded something from us. So what we wanna do is we wanna open it and we're gonna use our Facebook Pixel Helper to number one, make sure we've got the right code. Remember the magic number, 8043. And then we're gonna check that that's there. And if so, then we'll set up our custom conversion. 
Okay, guys, let's see how we did. So we've got our Facebook Pixel Helper. We're in Google Chrome. We hit that bad boy, Pixel 8043, the magic number. Ding, 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 ding. Great success. We've got it, right? So first off, we know that that's working. We've got the green tick. We're all good. So what we want to do now is we're just going to copy this URL in full. I do this a little bit different to everyone else, but I like to copy it in full and then I'll show you how we best utilize it. So we just want to hit copy on that. And then we're going to jump back in and create a custom conversion. Okay, guys, we're back in our events manager now. and I've just clicked over to custom conversions. So all we want to do is hit create on this. Now, this is going to be where we set it. And there's one key. You want to make sure that always your URL is contains, not equals. Because especially if you use click funnels or lead pages, what they do is they add a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo to the end of the URL once people opt in. And that's going to cause you a problem. Personally, I always, just for safety's sake, I always put my full URL in there. Um, you don't have to. You can just put in the end part if you like as well, um, where you have just the... You can put in just the last part, which is the forward slash, if you want forward slash download dash thank you. I always put the full URL in. That's just how I roll. So we put that in. We name it. So this is going to be conversion test test for us and I always just hit lead unless it's going to be a payment or something and you can put in the value um, if it's an actual payment as you can see here purchase um, and then you can track how much your ads are making for you too so if we do this we hit create and then oh, what have we done sometimes Facebook will give you a little bit of grief change this to lead and create that. So you can see guys, we have our certified baller lead, give it a new name, sitting here, it's active, it is ready to go. Now we can start running traffic to it. So that really easily and effortlessly is how you set up and install your custom conversion. There we go guys, we're done. We're back out of the computer now, set up our custom conversion, ready to rock and roll and kill our Facebook ads. So hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Speak to you all very soon. Adios.